Hey what's going on guys, Dave here in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect that you have just seen on screen. Uh, quick disclaimer to the 14 year old montage editors who might be a bit sexually frustrated and looking to start some beef in the comment section. I know that this effect is quite linear, you could definitely do it uh, way way better on After Effects. Uh, but I'm trying to, I'm doing the best I can, alright? I'm just trying to show how to do it on Vegas, alright? Uh, so before you get, you get all summary chubbed and you just type it away in the comment section, just keep that in mind, please, alright? Thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, let's actually get into the effect. So I have the two different tracks right here. Uh, so we're going to start off by just separating them a bit. And we're going to go to the last frame of the clip that you want to be um, transitioned from. And just go and freeze frame on the uh, the last frame and then just split it so you'll get this little segment right here now this entire segment should be 30 frames long so it should end on 34 so we need four more frames here uh just like that and now for the second one just go ahead and go one frame forward uh split it go to the start of this one frame segment right here freeze frame and then you need to drag this uh, to the end, and then you uh, you extend the actual end of it. Otherwise, it's going to mess up with the uh, the frames, and it's not going to look good at all. Uh, so that's, that's what you need to do. Then just go 30 frames, split it, and drag that in. And now you should have that. Uh, just like that, and there shouldn't be any major cuts uh, in between the freeze frames. Alright, now let's go ahead and make two new video tracks right here. Just like that. Press U on these segments right here. Hold control, drag this one up there, hold control on this one as well, and drag that one up there. Uh, excellent. Now go to the start of this video track right here, and just go ahead and click on enable mask, and click on the first keyframe right there, uh, and just start cropping out the character. Uh, I'm going to do this very, very quickly for you guys, so that you don't get bored. However, I would urge you to actually spend some time on making this mask accurate. Uh, when you are making your uh, effect at home. So there we go. We have that. It will look quite bad, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, now we go ahead and press Control C on this one. Go down to this bottom track and click on Paste Event Attributes. Now go to the first frame. Click on the cropping thing. Uh, go to this first keyframe. Uh, click on the Normal Edit tool and click on the plus icon right here. Or I think it, no, it's minus icon. We click on the minus icon. It'll be like the red one down here. And what this is gonna do is when I mute this top track, there's going to be a black background on this bottom one. And if I mute the bottom one, we're just gonna have the character right here. Uh, and now we go ahead and do the same thing on the other two tracks. So just go ahead and mask the uh, the first track. I'm gonna do it very, very sloppily. Uh, so you guys don't get super mega bored just like that okay once again once you have masked the top track just go ahead and control c and paste event attributes on the bottom click on the cropping tool click on the uh this tool whatever it is normal edit tool and click on the negative thing there and if you mute this top one there should be a negative space at the bottom obviously that is the god mask uh so yeah um, once you have done this, we can get started with the actual effects. So we're going to start off by applying a couple of track uh, stuff. So we go into the video effects tab and search for drop shadow. It's already up here for me. Uh, so go ahead and copy these settings. I'm going to drag it onto the mask track. Uh, so these are the settings you're going to want to copy. Just go and drag that onto both the masks. And uh, once you've done with that, we're going to go ahead and make two new video tracks. So Control Shift Q twice. Drag these underneath the masks uh, just like that. Drag this first one up there and drag the second one right there. So there should be a layout uh, looking like this, sort of. Uh, and now we just go ahead and drag the drop shadow onto the bottom ones as well. All right, now what we need to do is start off by animating the base. So we click on this, you know, the, the track options for the first background image, which will be right here. So we click on this, click on track motion. And now what we need to do is go up here and click on 3D source alpha. This is going to enable us to just be able to do stuff like that. Uh, so now go on the first keyframe, just add one right there. Go 12 frames forward, so it'll be two right here. Uh, and just go ahead and zoom it out uh, Sort of like that I would say however, you know much you wanted to zoom out go to this first keyframe and set it to fast uh, And set the second one to slow 
Uh, now what we need to do is go to the one frame before the end, just so we can see what we're doing right there. And just go ahead and flip it. Uh, we're going to want to flip it, I'd say, probably down. Uh, let me go ahead and double check how we actually going to do this. Yeah, we want to flip it down. So just go ahead and make sure that it sort of looks like that. We don't really want uh, to be able to see anything. So it should look somewhat like that. Now just make sure that it, it looks decent. There we go. And now what we need to do is go to the second track right here. This one, whatever. Uh, click on track, track motion. Uh, just like we did on the last one. Uh, 3D source alpha up here. Uh, and on this first keyframe right here, just make sure that it is rotating naturally. So we drag that up just like that. Just make sure that we cannot really see the background, uh, something like that. And now we go to 12 frames before the end. So we go to the end and back up 12 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, click on restore box, but make sure to drag it out a bit so that it is still zoomed out. And go to the end and click on restore box. Now on this first one, click on fast. And on the second one, click on slow. And if we go and pre-render this, we can see that uh, it looks decent. Uh, but now what we need to do is actually apply some beat shake. So I'm actually going to go ahead and apply an impact on this first one. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the glint, flicker, and magic bullet looks. You should be able to have your own impacts right here. It's basically just like a shake that you need to apply. I'm going to go ahead and control C and select a piece of an attributes and just paste the event keyframes. So uh, we do that and we paste that right there as well. So that has an impact and that has an impact right there. Uh, now you need to do that on both of, on both the masks as well. So we selectively paste, selectively paste right there as well. Now it should look a bit more, you know, fun to look at, I guess. I don't really know what the correct word for it is, but it should look something like this. All right, well, we have had an oopsie happen here. So uh, essentially what we need to happen here is that this shouldn't be masked. So we should just disable this masking. And I'm just starting to realize how awful my mask actually was. Uh, and this shouldn't be uh, freeze framed either. So it should look something like that. That's way better. There we go. That is much, much better. Uh, now what we need to do is just create a new video track and drag it all the way to the bottom and just go ahead and download a paper background from Google. They are very, very easy to find. Just Google like fuck paper background or something like that. Uh, very, very easy to find. And you just go ahead and drag that on. You can obviously have any background you want. I'm just going to be using a paper background for this tutorial. Uh, so as you can see, it is looking quite decent. Uh, but now what we need to do is just animate our character. So essentially, we just want it to uh, just go. To, we go 12 frames in essentially to where, you know, the zoom out starts. Uh, go to the character, click on track motion, add a keyframe here. Go to one frame before the last and just drag it out all the way to the end and to the right and make sure that uh, this middle line right here matches up with the dots in the background. This is to make sure that it doesn't accidentally go down or something like that. Uh, set that to slow and now go 12 frames out uh, from the end on the second one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Click on track motion. Uh, add a keyframe right here. Go to the end and drag this out to the right. Uh, so something like that. And now we have this. Make sure we set that to fast. And we go and pre-render this. As you can see, looks quite decent, you know? Uh, we can obviously add some sound effects to this if we so desire. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some standard bass swoosh, I guess. Uh, just like that. And we can just go ahead and do that. And we should essentially be done at this point. Uh, if we do it well. Okay, well that was very, very loud. I don't think it's supposed to be that loud. Uh, but still, you know. Should look something like that. Probably not, you know, as impactful with the whooshes. 
Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.